Before we start with test process, let's have an overview of what we will be seeing in upcoming videos. There are three general aspects of organizational test processes. First aspect is test activity and task. Second aspect is test work product. Third aspect is traceability. Let's understand what they mean. By now, we know test process is divided into seven different test activities, and they are test planning, test monitoring and control, test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, and test completion. Each of these activities has tasks within them, which we will study in detail in future classes. So when we perform these activities, we get certain outputs, and those outputs are referred as test work product. So remember this point. Output of test activity is test work product. Let's see some of the work products which we get out of these test activities. In the test planning stage, we get test plans as output. From test monitoring and control stage, we get test progress report as an output. From test analysis stage, we get list of prioritized test conditions. From test design stage, we get test cases as an output. And output of test implementation is test suits. Output of test execution is defect report. And finally, output of test completion is finalized test wares. These are important points from exam point of view. I request you to memorize them at this point of time. Last point is related to traceability. Let's first understand traceability concept, and then we will go through the definition. Suppose customer gave you some requirement to test, and the requirement looks like this. Customer requirement 1. Customer requirement 2. Customer requirement 3. Customer requirement 4. It can go up to 1,000 requirements, which we are representing by the letter N here. Once you get these requirements, you will develop test cases for the requirement. And suppose it looks like this. Test case 1, test case 2, test case 3, test case 4. And it is up to you how many test cases you want to write to cover all the requirements. But now comes the important question. How will you provide the test case for customer requirement 4? It is humanly not possible to provide test case for the requested customer requirement if you have thousands of requirements. To solve this problem, we have traceability. During traceability, we develop a virtual bi-directional link between requirement and test cases by using some tools. Let's see how we do that. As soon as we write the test case for requirement, we link them using a tool. For example, requirement 1 is linked to test case 1. Since we have a bi-directional traceability, anytime we can see which test case is connected to requirement 1, or which requirement is connected to test case 1. Similar way, we can provide traceability for other test cases. Now you can see each requirement has test cases. This is all about the traceability concept. Now let's see the definition. To maintain traceability throughout the test process between each element of the test basis and the various test work products associated with that element. Traceability is nothing but linking between requirement, test condition, test case, and report. So just remember three aspects of organizational test process are test activity and task, test work product, and traceability. Last point is ISO IEC IEEE 29119-2 has information about test process and ISO IEC IEEE 29119-3 has information about test work products. With this, we end this lecture here.